Hi guys, Dom Goz here and this is the Ultimaker 2 3D printer. Now there's a freshly printed sculpture in there. Neat, isn't it? Now this one is very compact printer. In fact, one of the most compact 3D printer I've ever seen, yet it has the largest print platform. It can build the 3D object of up to 9.1 inches or 23 centimeter in dimension. That's one cool thing about it. Another cool thing is that it is pretty. Take a look at the light here. You can change the brightness, also make it glow when a print job is done. Now these dial button right here and also the LCD screen are all you needed to operate the machine. Quite straightforward. Now the printer here use standard filament spool like this one right here. They come in different color. You just have to install one on the back of the printer, then load the string through the tube here to the print head. During the print job, the print head would melt the string, then extrude that on the platform underneath to form a 3D object. Now with this printer here, that's one crucial step you have to do before you can start printing. And that's also the first not so cool thing about it, the calibration. Now this is a process where you make sure that the print platform is just one millimeter away from the nozzle on top. You can use the dial here to adjust the height of the platform and it seemed very easy, but in reality, it took me an hour to do that. The fact that the print plate here is made of glass make it that much harder to gauge the distance. Good thing. I'm nearsighted. By the way, the print plate here is removable, making it very easy for you to clean it. Now, the second uncool thing about this printer is the fact that you cannot print directly from a computer to it. You first have to use a computer, use a software, work on a 3D model file, then transfer that file to an SD card, and then print from the SD card. But the question is, what if your computer doesn't have SD card slot? Well, good luck. Now, performance-wise, the printer worked very well in my testing with small objects like this little robot right here, or small pieces of Tetris, or the sculpture. But when I moved to a larger object, you know, it takes hours to print, it failed me almost every time. For example, take a look at this right here. What is this? Well, it's the bottom of a rocket ship. After four hours of printing, let's just stop right there. The second try, it creates this, also after four hours of printing. Very frustrating. Well, my guess is maybe I couldn't do a good job of calibrating the platform. But then why did it print all of this? Okay. And seriously, if I couldn't do that, do you think you can? Well, if you do, there's one more hurdle before you can play with this printer. The price is very expensive at some $2,500 in US or some 1,800 euros in Europe. For that money, I would hire a real sculptor. Actually, I know some who work for free. Anyhow, for more on this one here, check out my full review at CNET.com. Oh, by the way, this thing here is actually the replica of how I look a hundred years from now. So check back then to verify or do what you always do anyway. Take my word for it. And that's because I'm Dom Ngo and this has been the first look at the Ultimaker 2 3D printer. It actually looks exactly like me right now.